well, I'm here visiting mom, and we're at the cemetery, and they're having some other service over there, which, no offense, I'm grateful for the military and the service that they do, but I don't like the fact that, um, you can't leave nothing here, they touch shit, and it's just really fucking sick and disrespectful, but, you know, whatever. See, you get the men there, can you see them all? That's all the military people. I mean, I'm grateful, don't get me wrong, but it's like, the cemetery is really strict, there's one of the uh, veterans. I mean, God bless America, I'm grateful they serve, but this cemetery is horrible because... Someone just passed away. See? And they're not too far from my mom. But I'm just really hurt that, um... Yeah, see? That's them. So you might hear music periodically. But that's the veterans, you know, people who passed away. And just... It's really sick and sad and depressing and gothic and morbid. Completely morbid. You'll hear, you know, trumpets and stuff, but just sitting here in a chair. Last night I've been having weird dreams about, like, myself um, accidentally, I can't say it because of YouTube, but it involves being with my mom, so put two and two together. Um, it's, you know, six months without my mom, and everyone keeps telling me it's a year, and I don't believe it, there's no way, it's not true. They're all fucking liars. Everyone's out to get me. They're trying to kill us. They're horrible people. And they're not real. And it just makes no effing sense. There's no damn way. And here is um, the view of this cemetery and the woods here. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. I'm grateful for each and every one of you for thumbs up in my content. And thank you a thousand subscribers for loving my channel. For who we are, not what we are, and we have dissociative identity, mentally ill, autism, special needs, Asperger's, we do singing, dance, and karaoke. Check out my playlist, and please check out my lives. The lives are different conversations, different topics, different everything, and stuff like that. And I've been having weird dreams about my mom's husband, and I can't talk about it because that's a deal a lot with my DID and BPD, and I have videos on that topic if you check out the playlist. So check out my playlist and my lives, and you'll know more videos on that topic of dissociative identity. You can watch those videos titled Dissociative Identity slash Meet the Alters. So, but I just really miss my mom, and we're not well, and we're sick, and it's just... I guess they raised a flat. Last time they had a Scottish person here. But whatever. I'm just really, really not well. and just sick and tired. And I didn't bring no witchy stuff to do with my mom. But I don't know what to do, Mama. I miss you. I love you, Mommy. I need you. I'm sick without you. I can't function without you. We're not well mentally. We're a broken 12-year-old little girl still. And we're just not well. And... I need my mother. I can't function in life. I can't live without her. I, I can't handle it. I would never think I'd be looking at my mother again. Like, this is some fucked up, disgusting shit. And it's just like... <sighs> I don't know. I might put this on my playlist. Um, the playlist, one of the videos is called... Uh, what No One Tells You About Losing a Parent. So, um, you can check out my playlist again, please. And thank you. But, yeah. It's just a depressing matter. That's like the army truck and stuff, and the army man walking. Guess he's making his rounds. I like the flags blowing. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful country to, lo to live in. And without them fighting for us and our freedom, for the veterans and the army and the service and navy... We wouldn't have the freedom we have today in this country to express who we are, what we are, and our religions, our sexuality, our race, gender, creed. If it wasn't for them serving, we would not be here today. So thank you again. God bless America. And I'm very happy to be, I'm very happy to be living in this country. Home of the brave, home of the free, and living. And let's keep it that way. So. Hmm.
So, just visiting. I'm just not well. I miss my mother so much. And I just feel like our altars are just really bad and we're just dissociating and we're just mentally well, not well and like I'm sick and I'm depressed and I'm tired and the voices are getting to me really bad and like I keep hearing things about like come get me we're cold we need you it's just I can't I can't do this I can't function I'm, I'm thinking about putting a subs away and like an adult mental home not like a psychiatric asylum hospital but I guess they take your disability money and I'm thinking about um Signing myself away another couple months to a year from still feeling like this. If I don't move to the new building within a year, I don't know. It just is a lot to gain and a lot to lose. And, like, there's more negative things about doing it than there is positive. And I'm just, I, 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 I can't do this. It's like I'm not well. And I keep having bad dreams about my mom's husband because of the abuse and trauma that I can't talk about. And uh, it's not well. And it just... I'm not looking forward to the day I gotta see his fucking scuzzy name right here. And I'm gonna be really upset. And when I lose my grandmother in the future, hopefully I die before her. But I'm just saying, like, my grandma's 88 years old. And, like, I don't have anybody in my family. My family is dying down or dwindling down. And I have sisters on my dad's side that we don't talk to. And I have my other sisters that we don't talk. And it's just... They're all married with children and living wherever in Long Island, and it's just sick. And like, I feel like nobody loves me, nobody cares. And then my aunt Hope don't call us, don't text us, don't acknowledge our mental illness. And she's a fucking LPN or RN nurse, and it's just say that she doesn't recognize mental health. And I'm just not well, and I don't know what to do. And I'm sick to my stomach, and I'm nauseated, and I'm just really depressed. And I I, I just don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm lonely, I'm sad, I'm fucking miserable, I'm not well mentally, we're hearing voices again, demon to demons in the hallway, out to kill us, out to get us, and it's just, another person's dying, it's like, everyone's dying to get into a cemetery, literally, even myself included, I just want to be with my mother, and it's sad, because even in death, it's like, my mom's husband, Bob, abused, took him took my mother away from us and i just I, I just it's fucked up the cemetery you can't leave no rocks uh you can't leave no statues you can't leave no candles you can't leave nothing they want everything is plain ugly and bearing and it's fucking sick and disgusting and it's horrible. Like, I respect it, but it's a fucking scuzzy cemetery because you can't leave nothing. Like, leave shit alone. Like... I believe in the dead. I practice necromancy witchcraft. I have videos on, on my channel too. And it's just like, I don't get people. I'm not well. We're losing it. And it's just a horrible feeling. I got my baby crib. So stay tuned for that video and an unboxing. And again, thank you a thousand subscribers. I'm happy that we have you and each and every one of you for thumbs upping my video and each and every one of you for loving our content and appreciating us for who we are and not what we are. And please read the about part on my channel. It tells you what we're doing, who we are. I just saw fucking two people right there. Those flags are where I'm pointing at. I just saw two spirits. Oh my God. And then you got those two people over there. <sighs> this is just depressing. <sighs> I love you guys. Please, I feel like this content thumbs it up there's more videos on this topic again check out the playlist check out my lives interesting conversations on my lives different interviews with people on my lives and i'm a proud autistic abdl girl and i love our community and support